Oh my God, Paul, guess what? I just got this awesome question. So um, I was talking to this friend of mine who has this fantastic entrepreneurial idea, and he says, everyone he talks to give him like, naysayers, and they ask him all these questions, and they don't seem to support him at all. How does he get over that? Well, I can tell you through my own experience, when I have a new idea, and I go into either a boardroom or a, an office or even a cubicle, and you say, hey, I got this new idea, and I explain the idea. And what I notice is it's amazing when you watch humans because humans are so good at being the devil's advocate, right? So you can see their minds working away and they'll say, you know, my concern or my challenge to this idea is this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, well, hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. Um, we'll get to that in a second. That's very valid and I appreciate you bringing that up. But what do you actually like about this idea? And it's amazing how people's eyes will go, well, I hadn't even thought about that. My brain was too focused on what I don't like about it. And I'm like, well, so, so what do you actually like about this idea? And people will go, well, I, I kind of like the fact that it does this. And in fact, you know, if it can do this, we could also build on it in this way and that way. And they're like, okay, great, great, great. Now, a few minutes ago, you brought up what I thought was some really valid points about your concerns or challenges as this idea. Um, let's talk about those. No, most, most of the time they'll go, you know what, now that I understand the idea better, I don't think I really sort of have that challenge anymore. So I really think that, that ideas are like a fork in the road. And if you can get someone to go down this, this fork of what do they actually like about the idea and give the idea more time to incubate, okay? It, more good ideas, okay, are, are killed or die in offices and boardrooms and cubicles every day because they didn't spend enough time going down that fork in the road. And so I would encourage anyone, like your friend that has this idea, to try to keep people on this road. Not to ignore the fact that there are challenges and people have some thoughts against that idea, but, but you need to spend more time on this side or, you'll, or this thing will never happen. So that Very would be cool. my advice. Thanks, Paul. Okay, See you later. Sure. See you, man. All the best.